Good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I'd like to share with you an urgent message. As a result, I would like to ask everyone to take a time to share this video with others, as these messages are a very urgent call from the Most Holy Trinity to mankind, and we hope that these messages will be shared and extended to the ends of the globe, to the glory of the Most Holy Trinity. Let us now start by reciting this short prayer, asking our Heavenly Father for discernment and guidance, that the Holy Spirit may show us the truth, and guide us when listening to these messages from heaven. Lord Jesus, you are the King of Kings, and our all-powerful God. There is nothing which you could not do. We implore you to give us an experience of your heart, draw us deep into your very being, into the core of your love for us and of this world, give us a glimpse of others the way you see others, loving them, forgiving them and delighting in the way they give glory to you, through their very existence. Help us to discern out of that open place of deep affection, so that we too might be a useful vessel of your love in the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano described the history of Our Lady's apparitions at Civitavecchia, Italy, which occurred 26 years ago. During these miraculous happenings, Our Lady referenced to her Fatima apparitions and words, warning that Satan is seeking to destroy the family. Furthermore, Our Lady addressed the Church's apostasy, the darkness that overshadows Rome, and the necessity to consecrate Italy to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, saying that, the world is becoming more and more a prisoner of Satan's darkness and wickedness, without sparing numerous servants of the Church. She even mentioned the risk of a third global war as a result of the apostasy. On February 2, 1995, Our Lady appeared to the Gregory family when their Mary statue began to bleed bloody tears. She made it clear that this apparition is related to her Fatima apparitions. My children, the darkness of Satan is now obscuring the entire world, as well as the Church of God, she said. Prepare to live what I revealed to my little Fatima girls. There is, however, a message of hope. During her Civitavecchia apparitions, Our Lady declared, after the painful years of Satan's darkness, the years of my Immaculate Heart's triumph are now imminent. And she encourages us to recite the Holy Rosary as a powerful weapon against evil powers. As Archbishop Begano states, these apparitions have been approved by the Diocese of Civitavecchia and that even Pope John Paul II privately blessed the miraculous statue. In addition, he informs us that Father Gabriella Morth, the well-respected and now deceased chief exorcist of Rome, strongly believed in these apparitions and even asked the Gregory family to pray for him when he was at the end of his life. Archbishop Begano paid a visit to the Gregory family and experienced several mysterious occurrences while worshipping in front of the something miraculous statue. These warnings of Our Lady on the outskirts of the Metropolitan Diocese of Rome, according to Archbishop Vigan, are coming true in our day. Archbishop Vigan clarifies her statements on Satan's battle on the family, which Sister Lucia had previously talked about in a letter to Cardinal Carlo Caffera, the decisive battle between the Kingdom of Christ and the Kingdom of Satan concerns marriage and the family. Attacking the family means eliminating not just society's essential cell, but also the church. The aggression against the family is also manifesting itself within the Church, explicitly with the apostolic exhortation Amoris Laetitia, with the possibility of denying the indissolubility of marriage, with the legitimization of homosexuality and with the promotion of gender ideology. Civitavecchia, like Fatima, comprises a warning to the Church and a judgment on history, and it gives the sole decisive solution, the divine antidote, to histories and man's wickedness and damnation. It is vital to note that Our Lady gave the content of the third secret of Fatima to Jessica Gregory, the daughter of the family who experienced these apparitions and supernatural happenings, 
and that this message was then handed on to Pope John Paul II at the time. She was able to meet with Sister Lucia of Fatima in 1996 and compare the messages they received on the third secret. They were identical. Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano, Papa, Papa, the Madonna is crying. On February 2, 1995, at 4.21 p.m., Jessica Gregori, a little girl who was not even six years old, was about to go to Holy Mass with her family when for the first time she saw a small statue of Mary Most Holy crying tears of blood in the small stone grotto which her father had recently built in front of their house. Her father, Fabio, was putting his 18-month-old son Davide into the car when he heard his daughter continuously cry out out. When he heard the word, blood, he raced over and understood what was going on, although it was first perplexing. His wife Anna Maria was already waiting for them at church, but she wasn't frightened to hear what had happened since she hadn't forgotten a dream she had the night before on January 18 that predicted a tragic occurrence that would occur on Candlemas. From that day forward, the event occurred 13 times in front of a crowd of witnesses, till February 6, numerous public security agents, who were promptly called by Fabio, were also present uninterruptedly during these days to guard the sacred image and would also give sworn testimony about these events during the investigation. It seems providential that it is now Archbishop Begano who carries this message of warning and of hope as given to us by Our Lady of Civitavecchia to the English-speaking world. In the midst of the turmoil and destruction that we are witnessing, let us remember we have Our Lady in Heaven who watches over us, to whom we can cling, and who promises us help. Or, as Vigano says, if the triumph of the Immaculate Heart is not far away, now is the time of battle, and she who is our leader and Corredemptrix wants to see us fight, suffer, and implore her victory which is now at the gates. And then he quotes Our Lady herself, through you I can spread the light of faith in these days of great apostasy. You are the light of the Lord, because you are children totally consecrated to me. Let yourselves be guided by me. If you listen to me with true love, and fulfill my requests by walking the path that I point out to you in your mind and heart, through you I can realize the great divine design of the great triumph of my Immaculate Heart. <music>